everybody it's Jamie with milk allergy mom I am so so excited to be doing another um, food allergy interview with a um, leader in the food allergy community and um, just been excited all day about doing this so it is finally time we sent out an email let all our subscribers know that this was gonna happen at 7 p.m. Central Time. I see people are already on. Be sure to say hi. Let us know you're here for the party. And uh, so basically, um, I am going to be interviewing, like I said, one of a great leader in the food allergy community, um, a fellow food allergy blogger who I discovered a year and a half ago. And it turns out we have a ton of stuff in common. She's been a tremendous help to me and my family. And I think you guys are going to love um, getting to know her tonight. It is Liz Reynolds with Allergy Free Mouse. And as you may guess with the uh, name of her blog, she specializes in Disney. I know you guys always have a ton of questions about how to do Disney with food allergies. And I'm telling you, this lady will give you a ton of great information. And if you've been thinking about it, if you've been on the fence, she got me over the edge there and we did it because of the confidence and info that she had for us. I like owe her a ton of gratitude for um, doing that for our family and starting a new tradition for us. I am going to swipe over, bring her on now. Hopefully we don't have any technical difficulties, but let me find Liz for us. Thank you guys all for being so patient. Ah, uh, Liz, let's see. Liz, 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 we should have practiced. I see plus five. Okay, hold on one sec. Da, da, da. Shoot. How do I get to her? Hold on, I feel so bad. Okay, Shannon's excited. Shannon, I'm super glad you're excited despite um, my lack of technical ability here. I'm not ready to call in one of my kids. Um, Liz, I'm trying to swipe and see you. Um, da, da, da. Liz, what can I do to help you get on here? Um, let me think. Have your phone horizontally. That is a tip sometimes that I see. I'm trying to swipe up. Um, we're gonna talk about Disney in a second. Oh, I hate technology. Um, no, nope, that's not it. Hang with me, guys. I promise we're gonna have, oh no, no filters. No, none of that. We don't need filters. Um, hey, Gail, good to see you. I know you guys have been playing in Disney too. I'm trying to get, let's see, what are the tips for getting Liz on here? There's some people I can get on, but not Liz. Um, Liz, I also have you on my computer, so hold on one sec. I'm so flustered right now. Da, da, da. Facebook. Liz, try doing your phone sideways, and hopefully you are on your phone. Um, I'm going to Messenger real quick. As if she wasn't already nervous enough, I've already made this. Is everything okay, she says. Um, let's see. Are you watching, Liz? Is everything okay? Are you watching on the page? All right, hold on. We're gonna try to get her here. Um, she is, do you see me? Does your phone need to be up? Well, darn it. No. Shoot, we may have to start over and come right back. If I have to do that, I'll let you guys know. Okay, Liz is watching. All right, Liz, this should be possible now. Hold on, let me swipe over. Okay. <laughs> All right, I think this will work. Can't bring Liz on camera. They can't join your broadcast at this time. Liz, um, is, your cam is your phone on low battery? Cause that is one thing, um, I see that I could bring you on, but it won't let me because for some reason, something on your end, I can bring Allison on, I can bring Jeff on, I can bring Gail on. I don't think they want to be the Disney expert tonight. So Liz, um, if your phone is horizontal and, um, horizontal 
and not on low battery are the two things that we figured out in the private support group are helpful for me to be able to bring you on. Um, darn it. This works all the time. I knew we would have some kind of little hiccup. Um, I'm still messaging her. Let's see. We want to do this in video. It's way more fun that way. Um, is your battery set in low? Wait, are you on a phone? All right, we got to have Liz on her phone. Um, we're going to wait just a second and see if it becomes possible. We've been on before. Liz has been on in the private group, so I know that this is possible. <laughs> Uh, lots of fun topics about lots of questions we have about Disney so we need to get her on hold on one sec she's answering me back no I'm on my laptop oh that might be the issue Liz you need to be on your phone honey buns um, do it from your phone okay we're gonna figure this out she needs to be on her phone all right almost there okay Sorry, you guys, this is like real, right? You guys are catching like what really goes on here at Milk Allergy Mom. All right, so we almost got her on. Um, she, We're gonna spend some time here in the group getting to know her. I just have like some questions for her to um, tell us who she is, what she does, how long she's been doing it, um, any general advice and tips for us. She's working on it. Awesome, I'm so glad I have my laptop right here. If you guys are, you guys are being so patient, all of you guys that are still here, and um, let me know in the comments while we wait for Liz if you have been to Disney yet. Let me know if you've been to Disney um, with your food allergy kiddo, if you um, are thinking about going to Disney. Um, we would love to know where you guys are at in that whole new world of going to Disney with food allergies. So I'm going to tell you, we don't eat in restaurants. So Miles never, ever, ever, ever in his 11 years before we went to Disney had ever eaten in a restaurant. I can bring Liz on now. And a year and a half ago, he ate in his first restaurant at Disney. And we are, we were so, so excited. And it's all because of Liz that we did it. All right, Liz, I can bring you on now. They've been so, so patient. I'm so thankful for you guys. Bring Liz on camera. I'm doing it right now. adding she's almost here you guys so quiet <laughs> Liz you're connecting she's almost here hallelujah can you hear me <laughs> yes Liz I can hear you I was on my laptop well now we know I was on my laptop. Good deal. Totally. Now we know. Is this we good? figured it out. Are you very techy? I'm not. Well, this is the first run, right? Yeah, this is the first run. <laughs> we are so okay. happy to have you. Everybody's really excited to well, hear I'm about Disney. Uh, it's the best place in the world. It's the best place in the world. All right. First, I want to start by telling them that we have a lot in common, girl, don't we? We do. We have a, a ton in common. We do have a ton in common. So let's start. Our kiddos are about the same age. They are. So we've been allergy free, uh, all, not free, but allergy food moms for, I have been for 13 years. And I have been for 12. So we have yeah, our hands, long time. we have our hands full with some preteen teenies, right? <laughs> yeah. Drama. <laughs> Drama for your mama. And another thing. Which is not so magical. Yes. We also have the food allergies in common milk and nut. And yours are. It's dairy, milk, dairy, peanut, and tree nut. We outgrew egg. You, we have that in common too because we outgrew we, egg. Yep. Yeah. But we outgrew peanut, and you actually added peanut. We did. She outgrew egg when she was about eight. And then when she was nine, she had never showed any um, allergies, any uh, skin test, blood test, nothing to peanut or tree nut. 
and she, uh, we were on vacation in Austin, Texas, and uh, she had a dessert at a vegan restaurant because I let her have it. Back then, the protocol was that you would never let them go near another allergen like peanut or tree nut and thoughts that they would become allergic to it. And so we steered cleared of it, and she had this little tort that I thought, oh, I'm being such a bad mom. I let her have it. She had full-blown anaphylaxis within like a minute, two minutes at the table. Um, I'll never forget, it was at Matt's El Rancho in Austin, Texas, like one of the best Mexican restaurants in the world. And she had this horrible <laughs> looking food in front of her, and I felt so guilty. Not at Matt's, but from this little vegan restaurant that we had picked up for her. And she said, Mama, can I please have that dessert? I know you don't want me to have it. And I said, of course you can. So I let her have it and uh, called this little vegan restaurant up, and they knew where everything was sourced, better than most they were like allergy moms on this like we do all the background checking yeah they knew that none of their none of their stuff was animal sourced at all and so they gave me where everything was from i was like wow this is pretty amazing and so we went back to um uh, atlanta had her tested and she was off the charts for peanuts and tree nuts she i guess that one time she had had too much of it maybe i don't really know it's not an exact science but she got a bucket full as they say that's what we do say but we Finished, uh, we did peanut OIT, and it's very controversial, but uh, we figured, um, I really liked our, our allergist. I still like him. He's a wonderful guy. We started last um, August. She graduated, not last, but the August before. She graduated in May, and she had had um, anaphylaxis to peanuts and tree nuts twice in the past, and it was always really scary. It's, it's terrifying. It's within a minute or two. There's not any leeway to run and go get an EpiPen. You've got to have it there. So that was one of the reasons that we really looked into this. And it took me about two years to do it. And um, she now eats a teaspoon and a half of peanut butter every single day of her life. And that's, Which is amazing. That's another thing that you and I have in common. So our readers know we started OIT a month ago with milk. And so our kiddos kind of get to connect on that level that they are both desensitizing and being super brave and trying something to be proactive. It is super brave. It is super brave. And, and we have to always remember that and, and not take it for granted that we're not in their shoes. Right. You know. Exactly. Well, we go trying the shower when we're scared. I know. I'm going to talk to you about that later. I know that you do your crying in the shower, and it's just mom to mom tonight. So um, that's cool that we can talk mom yep. to mom. The other thing that we have in common it is and that's what I love about this this uh, forum that you do, because I don't think I would do this with anybody else. Well, you're so sweet. I appreciate you doing this for us. You just have so much great stuff. Absolutely. So I want to tell them that the reason I found you, we were playing on our Disney trip. Jeff said, I found this site, Allergy Free Mouse. She's just like us, milk and nut. And what made us really love you is that we, you, we, we could relate with you with the milk specifically and the nut allergy. And um, right. you're, like you said, your daughter has had anaphylaxis. So we really could trust that you had figured out Disney despite having a very severe food allergy and love that you're on video with us because you do podcasts, <laughs> which I love reading blogs, but hearing your voice in the podcast, which I never listened to podcasts, but Jeff said, you have to listen to this pixie Lizzie girl. You like your <laughs> voice, your voice put me at ease. I literally remember oh, being in my basement organizing bins and crying because of you talking about, I think it was quick service and how your daughter had had this amazing dessert. And literally, I mean, I don't cry. I'm not a crier. I was crying hearing right. your calm. You are so calm. I'm like such a spaz. So we're kind of like a good combo in that regard. But um, I just totally trusted you. And that's why I love having you on for our community tonight. So I have a couple. Oh gosh, questions. thank you. This is a real honor. It really is. Well, um, there's nobody better to come tell us about Disney. So I'm very excited that you're doing this for us. 
Um, so what I want to ask you is kind of how you got started. So your daughter had had anaphylactic reactions. It was obvious that she had a very severe food allergy. What made you finally decide to go try Disney and actually eat there? Because I know that a lot of our moms, like me, are nervous as heck. We hear that it's awesome, but actually doing it is a really big decision. Tell me about the first okay. time you did it. This is the deal. Um, I taught Montessori, which is um, school for three to six year olds. It's kind of an alternative school. It's more mainstream now. Mm -hmm. And I taught for 22 years. Um, my daughter had to be in my classroom because she was um, deadly allergic to dairy. And no one really got, well, they still don't, as you know, get dairy. And we still have to say it's like a peanut allergy. And then people get it. I, I rarely run into anybody that doesn't understand the peanut allergy. And so I would say that, hello, <laughs> I see you. <laughs> he had to pee. Is that Miles? Yes. <laughs> and so um, I, uh, I um, had a friend that we were in a breastfeeding group together. And she said, Lizzie, take her to Disney. And she was, and she still is, she's um, a pharmacist. And she was really strict about peanuts. Like peanuts couldn't come into her house. But sometimes people with dairy allergies, we make concessions and we have dairy. And so she was this ultra, ultra strict, like, it, and now, it, of course, we would never have dairy on our hands. We wash it. We wash our lips, everything. But you couldn't even have it in her house. Mm -hmm. So I thought, if she goes there, it took me about two years. There's a two-year thing going here. Thing. Right. It took me about that. <laughs> there is. So she said, take her to Disney. You want your dad to take care of the kids? And I was like, wow, okay. So Charlotte was four, almost five at this point. She was in my classroom. And I said, you know, okay. So we took her to Disney um, and we brought down tons of food. I'm telling you like a boatload. I think I had a Jeep Wagoneer at the time. It was filled to the roof with food. That was the most important thing. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner for about seven days. Yeah, because that's, we what, got we're, there. that's we what we're used to doing. We fed it all away, right? Mm-hmm. So we put it all away, and, uh, and not just that, but baggies and um, parchment paper and foil and can openers, uh, all of that, and paper towel and <laughs> everything. And I only used, on those seven days, I only used a bag of organic lettuce, her goddess dressing, and I, and I don't want to cry, but I think an apple. And so it was amazing. And we... Um, and we came home, and my daughter and I were crying in the car. My husband's like, oh, my gosh, you know. And I knew he had a good time, but he's not as emotional, you know, guys. And so my birthday rolls around, and he says to me, what do you want to do for your birthday? And I said, just take me to Disney. That's what I Just take me to Disney. <laughs> and that was my first time going to Disney, too. Okay. With my daughter, and my husband had been when he was little, but that was my first time. So I really, I didn't have any, you know, memories of it as a child. I didn't have any warm, fuzzy things. It was just totally unknown to me. So we went back again. The same thing happened. We brought much less food, but we still brought food because I was still kind of thinking, was it really that magical that first time? I brought a bunch of food the second time. Um, and it was just as good, just as great, even better because... I, this is before we ever took a picture of a chef. I mean, we never took, it, we, it, it didn't even dawn on us, you know? We just said, thank you, thank you yes. so much, you know? It, it, and I would cry and, and I didn't need to say anything else, right? And so um, I think our second trip may be the first time we ever took a picture of a chef, mm. ever. And, um, cause they were, they were as, as important as the Mickey Mouse and they still are yeah. to our families. Like we don't, go there to see Mickey. We do to see the princesses and all that stuff. It's those chefs that are, that is where the magic is. And so anyway, I just had to get a picture. Of so we did that. Um, we got in the car, we drove home, we cried again, tears flowing. And I said to my husband, who's, who does iPhone apps, he does SEO, which is search mm -hmm. engine optimization. And he's a, he's a, he's a nerd mm -hmm. guy, but great, lovable nerd. Nice. He said, What's going on? What can we do to help you girls? And I said, build us a website. He said, okay, you put it, you put what you want and I'll build it for you. So he did. And um, he came home one day and we used to live in a, we live in a little tiny cottage now, but we used to live in a big, beautiful home. And the whole kitchen had all these post-it notes and soy and dairy and peanuts and tree nuts and all the different restaurants and what I wanted on the website, reviews and 
um, chef stories and stuff like that. And so he built the website, allergyfreemouse.com. And I um, started really working on it. And this time she was in kindergarten. And I thought, I've got to be that food allergy mom because of the dairy. I was really scared to put her in first grade. Um, this was year, you know, seven years ago. Food allergy says, you know, because you're a homeschooler. But in school, they really didn't get it. It touches the back of the chairs. You've got butter popcorn and sour cream and um, cheese and pizza. Pizza is like the easiest thing in the world and the cheapest thing to feed kids, mm -hmm. as you know. And it's and goldfish. <laughs> That's the stuff that terrorizes us <laughs> as, as milk yeah. allergy moms. Um, so anyway, long story short. I decided that I was going to quit teaching. I taught for 22 years. Um, I loved it, but I just thought I went on to a new. And I didn't think about the website, but I started helping people mm -hmm. book, not book their trips, but plan their trips and what chefs were where. And this is where you need to go. You, there's these, these cupcakes behind the counter that you have to ask for and helping people. And I don't, this is going to be funny. And only moms, well, maybe some dads, probably some, I, you know will understand. I think I was watching like General Hospital or All My Children or something on ABC. Mm -hmm. And it hit me like a brick. I was like, I'm helping out this company that's a billion dollar company, you know, and, and I they would pay me gladly and, and this won't cost these people anything and I could build a little business where I work from home as much as I want to do. I didn't think it would really really work because I had never been a travel agent. Um, so that's how it started. I found an agency that I loved. They were wonderful. They taught me the ins and outs of Disney because they were Disney fanatics. They have a podcast. They know more about Disney than most of the cast members at Disney, like the ins and outs of Disney. I knew more about the restaurants and the chefs and, yeah. and um, stuff. But anyway, they taught me that to be a, a really good travel agent. And so I went on my own. And I started um, Pixie Lizzie, and um, I have one other independent contractor. Her name is Lindsay. She works with me. She's on the Disney Food Allergy Group a lot. Mm -hmm. um, she's wonderful. She knows as much as I do. She's uh, fabulous. And it's just the two of us, and it's really wonderful. It's great. Um, it's just been a wonderful thing. And my daughter has seen something that has been so daunting and um overwhelming as you know mm -hmm. and other food allergy moms know turn it to something really beautiful because i'm gonna be able to send her off to college someday that's as you know that's that's a huge thing yes you know yes and she's part of it she's like my little assistant that's right so that's how it started that's right i love miles and my kids being a part of milk allergy mom it's it's fun for it to be a whole family project so Liz, they you, are, I mean, I just saw it. <laughs> <laughs> yep. He had to peek in. Um, so you and I have been like blogging for about the same amount of time. I started milk allergy mom in 2008. Are you around there with, um, allergy free mouse? Yeah. Yeah. A little, or a little bit earlier, but, um, I didn't really start doing the, the travel end of it. But one thing I do want to say, cause I, I've seen this a couple places and people don't under, understand this and, this is real important to me. I don't really put out there on Allergy Free Mouse. Everybody that's really into food allergies know that I own it. But I don't put it on my website that I'm a Disney food allergy travel agent. Come here. I will help you because this is really important. I don't want other travel agents not to send their clients there. I put a little tiny ad on my own website. And if somebody needs a travel agent, then they'll see it. But if they don't, they would just brush it away. Do you know what I mean? And I really sincerely mean that, but I know it's been kind of misunderstood by a couple of people. They're like, oh, she's shadowing behind. It, no, it's not that at all. No, we appreciate it's that. that I, because I, I want people to get the information. Yeah, you, your first priority is to give the information to food allergy families via um, uh, food allergy mouse. That's allergy free mouse. <laughs> I knew I would say it wrong. Allergy free. And then you took it a <laughs> then you okay. took it a step further to be a travel agent and help families who um, were still looking for a travel agent. So I actually get so another thing we have in common is my second time going to Disney. I'm asking for it for my birthday. 
So us going in a couple months is actually sort of my excuse is my birthday, like yours. <laughs> right. We totally know how to work we it. We get out of the kitchen. We totally know how to work it. Um, and you <laughs> helped me this time. So you, I can't believe what you did. Like, I just needed a place to stay. And you did something crazy like asking for allergy-free, chemical-free cleaning of the room. Like, can you explain that for a second? Because that was beyond what I thought you were going to do for me. Do you do that for everybody? Sure. Uh, <laughs> I do. It, those that have allergies um, or those that have asthma or anyone that has, like, an immune system compromise, anything like that, um, when I call, I get what's called a peanut um, they also have, they have peanut, they have latex and chemical free. And I'm not a really big fan of chemicals, period. I use all in natural cleaners. Same here. Especially with those with asthma. Yes. Um, you don't have to use them to clean. So, and you probably have seen like the little picture that I'll have of uh, the remote control and the Ziploc baggie. I would much rather do that than laden everything with Clorox. You know, I'm more scared of that <laughs> than somebody else's. <laughs> Anyway. I love your laugh. So I shared your remote. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm a goofball. I'm just like my mom. You are a goofball. Um, so what I do is I, I request it. Um, the thing is this. It's usually a delay of checking in. Check-in is usually three. But if you have your room um, detailed, it's really, I mean, they clean it. They take hydrogen peroxide and they wash the carpets. They, they clean the drapes. Like, you walk in, and it's really clean. Um, and it's usually a delayed. And they don't do that until, really, you check in. Because a lot of people don't check in, and they don't want to have to send those mouse keepers mm -hmm. to go clean all that stuff if they don't. So it's usually about an hour. They go, and they really detail it. Um, it's wonderful. That's pretty cool. I'm so excited to go. Yeah. So... My next question for you, you go get to go to Disney quite often. So um, if somebody's wanting help, I know me as an allergy mom, I really wanted to know that the person that was going to give me advice knows what they're talking about. So how, and when I heard <laughs> how often you go, I was like, how can she not know all the ins and outs? So you go quite often. I wish, I'm a little bit jealous of I your do. job, actually. But I know that you work really, really it's hard. It's a great job. You do work very you hard, the funny though. Thing, well, I do. The, but the funny thing is, I remember seeing Oprah Winfrey, and she's in the news a lot, but th this is, I've told this story for years, and I know some of my clients are probably watching this. They've heard this story. She, because um, they cry. We cry on the phone. We do. They're like, I can't believe I found you. And I said, I'm so glad you did. And they tell me their stories. And um, I always say, you know, Oprah Winfrey said, if you follow your dream and you follow something with her, the way she talks with passion, you know, and you're like, oh yeah, right, <laughs> Oprah, this billionaire telling you that that's exactly what happened to me. And it's, it's amazing. But what I do is I, um, I go to Disney about every two months and I take a cruise either once or twice a year. I try to do one with my family and then one by myself so that I can go talk to the chefs and not have to worry about being on the fun team. <laughs> That's true. You know? Yes. So that was what I it wanted is. to end with tonight. Like you are so good that I also listen to your podcast and I'm going to link everybody to your website with the information. I'm going to link them to your awesome Facebook page where you're always posting great info about the parks. Um, to, I want to them to know where your podcasts are because I think, like I said, you said you cry with moms on the phone. Well, I was crying with you in your podcast. You don't know it. This is only a one-way uh -oh. um, thing. But I was totally in tears, happy tears about – and honestly, when I was at Disney that first time, I mean, I was nervous the first time. And so did you feel like you had to go – I felt like I have to go back a second time to really enjoy it because I really didn't know – that it was going to be. So oh, yeah. Bad. You know what? And, and I still get nervous sometimes because we have to. You can't ever um, let your guard down. Right. You just can't. Um, I don't get nervous where where I don't trust somebody. I just get nervous like I'm being too trusting. Like that, you know, and then, and then I go, it's okay. Because if something were to happen, because kids can become, and adults can become allergic to another allergen at any time like my daughter. Yeah. So I just let it go. So yeah, I, they've, I've done everything I can, but she's gone every two months 
gosh, since she was five. But we really went about every three months then. But now we go every two months. And she's never had a reaction at Disney, which is absolutely amazing. I, I, that, I don't even, I, that's amazing. For someone who's had anaphylaxis several times to dairy and to peanuts and tree nuts. I mean, she's even had anaphylaxis in this last year. So in talking with you. She did. I, yeah. She did. And it was. And she has a yeah. 100% track record at Disney. But you know, the funny thing is, um, she'll be recognized at Disney. <laughs> we'll be in uh, Disney Springs, and somebody will go, are you on the Disney Channel? And she'll go, no. And it's always usually in front of Erin McKenna's or um, Frontera. That's because we go there all the time. <laughs> she is so cute. She and she'll go, no, like, I'm not. She does look like she could be on the Disney Channel. But I mean, if it's funny to go, no, I'm not. And it'll circle back around like we'll be eating. She'll be eating her ice cream or whatever. I love it. And she'll go, you're, you're that Pixie Lizzie's. You're Charlotte. <laughs> and I love her name, too. But it's true. If we do, like you said, you can't just say, okay, Disney's safe. Let's go. And they're going to take they're going to take care of everything. And it's 100% foolproof. We still, and I know all allergy moms are like this. Anyways, Absolutely. We still need to be diligent, do our homework. That's why I listen to all your podcasts. Can I, can I touch on that for just a, real, a yeah. quick minute? Because this is where people get in trouble. They hear that Disney is, is this fabulous haven, if you will, this magical haven. And that's where they can get into trouble. Not that it's not, but you've got to know certain things. Not all of the restaurants in Epcot are Disney owned. Mm -hmm. um, you have to know which countries are. Um, you have to know like quick service. You've got to ask for the allergy binder. You have to ask for the manager to come. You've got to look over everything. And take your time because you're going to want to do it quickly. Yeah. But take your time. And that's what I do with my clients over the phone. Um, and I post it on Pixie Lizzie. I'll, I'll post some of the ingredients and stuff. But they change all the time also. So you can't say, oh, I saw something posted. Right. That, you know, these churros or um, something like that was safe. They could change right. vendors. Like the popcorn they did not long ago. So, and then the chefs, some of the chefs, they're used to taking care of um people and children that have very severe allergies, but they're also used to people coming in that have diet preferences or slight um, problems where they'll say, yeah, I don't, I don't eat gluten because it, it might, you know, hurt my tummy, but they don't tell the chef that, or they might use it for diet. They just say, um, we're allergic to gluten and he'll go to great lengths and, or she, and um, they'll do something and then they'll find out, you know, oh, I want a piece of chocolate cake because I'll be okay this time. I don't think that happens very often, but you've got to be really diligent. So when you do go to those chefs and it's a buffet that you tell them, I need you to cook. If, if they carry an EpiPen or if they have celiac and, and it's painful, it's debilitating, that you tell right. them it's cross-contamination. They know the language and they'll go mm -hmm. in the back and they'll make something fresh. It's, it's a beautiful right. thing. You know, there's some people that have allergies that um, they can have baked egg. So the mm -hmm. chef, you, you, you have to tell them that. So if you go through and the scrambled eggs are at the very end, that's your comfort level. And you need to let them know if it's not, or she, to know if, if you're not comfortable with that. So there's a whole lot that goes into beforehand that people need to know. And like the snacks, you've got to go look at the binder, make sure everything's good. Mm -hmm. um, Anyway, that's real important. I can't say enough about that. And one other thing I want to say, and this is, and then I'll, and, and I'll stop preaching. <laughs> no, we love the it. food allergy menu. People get stuck. They get paralyzed with the food allergy menus. There'll be a peanut, tree nut, a gluten, a dairy, a soy, an egg. And it's basically com like maybe four or five items, maybe two items. That's not all you can eat. If, like my daughter's peanut, tree nut, dairy, we never order off the allergy menus, ever. <laughs> um, we pretty much know by looking at the regular menu, and we may look at the allergy menu to see if maybe something's changed, that maybe they have diet cheese, you know, something like that. Um, we'll look at that, and then we'll take the components of something like, something great as in like chicken. This is my, they call it, you know, Charlotte chicken sandwich. She'll get <laughs> chicken 
and they'll grill it and they'll slice avocado, put bacon on it, on a bun that's safe for her. That's not on any of the menus at Disney. Yeah. And Chef Brad, who used to work at Grand Floridian Cafe, and I came up with the sandwich. And she loves it. And then she, you know, we'll get French fries. But that's not going to be on the menu. So if your child loves, like, BLTs, it's not on the menu, they'll make that for you. Or if they want, um, this is a great one. This is, like, our little secret that we do. When we go into a restaurant that we know that they have Mickey waffles in the morning that yes. she can eat, Mm -hmm. And it's evening. I'll say, can you do um, chicken fingers that are safe for her and waffles? So she'll have chicken and waffles and French fries. And, and if it's at a quick service, everybody there wants it. <laughs> and the chef kind of brings it over knowing that everybody's going to want it because they're spying it because it looks so good. So you just got to think about the components that they have by looking at a menu. And some people aren't real creative. They're, they're black and white um, and they, they can't do it. And I help them do that over the phone. That's what I do. I kind of walk them because I've been to every restaurant, gosh, uh, except for Victorian Alberts. I can't get Jeff in a tie to go there, and that's okay. <laughs> that, Liz, We're okay with I am going to take your advice yeah. on that because as a first-timer, again, very paralyzed by the fact that somebody's cooking for my child for the first time, we totally stuck to what the menu said. But I have heard you talk about, like, special order or whatever. So I'm going to try to do that this time because I'm excited to – be over one hump when she was believing that somebody could cook for my kiddo safely and do something, another fun adventure. So we're going to try to special order something because of your advice. <laughs> you should. Thank Definitely. you. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank yeah. you. You have so I'm going to try to go down there and meet you guys. What's that? Because y'all are going to go, you're going to go see Chef DJ, the most famous chef, probably foodology chef in the United States. But there are other equally talented chefs yes. at Disney. Yes. They There's, were all um, a lot of them. They were all wonderful. And I loved your tip to just bring, I just made like little um, cards that said, thank you, chef. And we had them to fill out at each awesome. um, restaurant. I didn't have like gifts or anything. I know you're really good about that, but I thought just having the little cards that we made. Well, but, but see, that's, that's different because I send hundreds of families every year. Yeah. 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 That's true. So That's a little different. thank a you thing. note. A card is a beautiful thing. They they will enjoy that as much as any kind of gift. They they don't expect anything except for they don't even expect a thank you. Really, the chefs are amazing. Well, I loved doing that. I actually you know Char they know Charlotte like aunts and uncles. <laughs> yes. Well, I actually have a. Um, and they were open, better than her aunts and uncles. They're her. The chefs are her aunts and uncles. I have a document that I yeah. forgot. I have that I can share. So I'll post that too, that people can print the little thank you notes if they want okay. to. And I'm going to link them to. Awesome. I did a bl couple of blog posts. One about quick service, which I never would have done if it wasn't for you. Um, and then one about restaurants. So I'll link them to something like that. But I also want to link them to Allergy Free Mouse which is where they can get great info. And are your podcasts through Allergy Free Mouse website? Yes, they are. And they're also, um, I've got to give a shout out to the Disney Food Allergy Group. Okay. That's Larry Wilnowski and Amy. I do the podcast with them along with my husband. And it's really kind of neat because it's two couples talking about Disney and food allergies and I don't think probably either of us would have ever probably gone to Disney, but because they take care of our, our loved ones so much, you know, that, that, uh, we do that, but it's a really, it's a wonderful podcast. It is. It's a wonderful group. It's a loving group. There's no drama. It's a beautiful, I love thing, it. Really. I think that that's why Jeff really was drawn to the podcast in the first place is because you do have the dads on there. And I think that he really liked dad perspective like where to get meat and potatoes and you know yeah absolutely i bet yeah i bet because because yeah. some of us women think we run the food allergy internet <laughs> <laughs> but when the dads get involved that really yeah. is a special thing because it doesn't happen very often it is it, it it's very true very, we can probably be an intimidating group of people. i know right <laughs> <laughs> All right, Liz, I am going to hop off of here. And what we're going to do next, I'm going to like we're gonna close us out. Um, I'll get the links up. And then we're going to hop in the private group for about 15 minutes so that you can do Q&A for the members. That sound good? Okay. Awesome. Yeah. All right, you guys. I love your private group. 
the private group loves you. So um, we're going to talk about a meetup coming up in there so it's gonna awesome. be super fun okay. um if you guys don't know about the private support group you are more than welcome to join um i'll leave links i'll leave links for lots of things tonight because these are like parties there's lots of party links um and uh we thank you guys for being here we hope that this was super informative and we hope that you have a little bit more confidence about checking out disney it is life changing if you can make it happen i am the most conservative nervous allergy mom possible and uh we, <laughs> if i can do it, you're like a lot of my clients you don't eat out we don't eat out ever so mom needs to go for right? her birthday so i don't have to cook i will say my last thing jeff said one day when we were at disney he said do you realize we didn't cook breakfast lunch or dinner miles had three meals one of the days and we didn't cook one time and it was like it was huge like it was just a feeling that that's unlike we thing. had ever ever had so and it, we hit up the bakery for breakfast which doing that bakery was very a big hurdle for us too but the bakery was fantastic you guys can get all this information that's Aaron McKenna's Aaron McKenna's bakery yeah lots of info at Liz's website and uh, we hope you guys check it out and get a lot of information to help you guys plan hopefully a Disney trip for your family we'll talk to you later this is Jamie and Liz with Milk Allergy Mom, reminding allergy parents everywhere we're in this together. We'll talk to you guys later. Bye.